What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an amazing team showcasing Xerneas for the second time on the channel. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. We used Xerneas in the beginning of Series 8, and I always want to use him again considering he is one of my favorite legendaries. And I feel like we could have uh, surrounded him with better Pokemon in order to make the team better. But rocking out in our front spot, starting off in that top left corner, we got Thunderous over here with that Defiant ability and that Life Orb to make him do more damage. We got Fly and Wild Charge, both for our stab moves. Foul play for our coverage, and it does big damage up against physical attackers. And then we got Protect as our nice little support move. We got Indeedee right next to him as a support Pokemon with the Psychic Surge ability, the Safety Goggles, Follow Me, Protect, Expanding Force, and Dazzling Gleam. Beyond my face cam is the heart and soul of the team. We got Xerneas with the Fairy Aurora ability, Power Herb so we can Geomancy in one turn. Then we got Dazzling Gleam, Side Shock, and Protect. If you guys don't know, Indeedee and Xerneas are going to pair really, really well because I can go into Follow Me with Indeedee to protect my Xerneas, set up a Geomancy, and potentially just set up my Xerneas to roll out and sweep battles. We got Sakataka right next to Xerneas as our Trick Room on the kind of counter Trick Rooms up right here. We also have Wide Guard, which I think is a great viable move in this series considering we gotta deal with Kyogre's moves and Groudon's double hitting moves. So they're rolling Groudon or Kyogre, you best know I'm bringing my boy Sakataka to help us out. We got uh, Trick Room, Wide Guard, Body Press, and Gyro Ball, and he's also holding that Shuka Berry with the Beast Boost ability. Bottom left corner is Venusaur with Chlorophyll, so it doubles its speed in the sun. Has that Focus Sash, so it can't get one tapped. We also have Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Energy Ball, and Sleep Powder as his moveset. Then in the final spot, you can't have Venusaur without his main man, Torkoal, over here. We got Drought and Charcoal with Eruption, Burning Jealousy, Body Press, and Protect. Normal moveset for him. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, Mental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder, try to get some wins with this Xerneas team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Groudon Sun team alongside with Porygon Z, Sableye, Charizard, Venusaur, and Larian Moltres. This one's looking like it's going to be tough. I definitely want to get in my stock attack here. Try to get up Trick Room, plus I have Wide Guard for that uh, Groudon. We can roll from there. We can eat up a shop with the Shuka Berry right off the rip. Um, who do I think he's going to lead? I think he's going to lead the Groudon. And the Sableye, maybe? This is tough. This is tough. Really, really good team. I kind of just want to go maybe with my Sun Squad. Oh, this one's this one's really tough because I don't think I could just go into straight Geomancy with my Xerneas. I think I gotta go Sakataka. Probably not even in Didi. I think I go with Thunderous as the lead. Or if he sets heat, I could just go here. But I kind of want to go here. Do I protect on my Venusaur? If I protect on my Venusaur, I think we can uh, thrive with this. I do have, I do have protect. I'm pretty sure. I didn't even check. I kind of just looked at his stats. <laughs> but yeah, we do have protect. Um, do I want to lead to Thunderous? I say we lead the Thunders. And then we bring the Torkoal and uh what's Xerneas speed. What's Zern speed? 166, rather fast. Let me just bring the Venusaur. The sun's out. We can roll with him. Actually, Sun is probably gonna be out. We're gonna bring Xerneas just as a back end mod. I think it's gonna be a play. This one's gonna be a tough battle. This one's gonna be really, really tough for us, I think. He covers a lot. We do have the wide guard. We do have the Shuka Berry, so we can eat up at least one shot. If you say he leads the ground on, we have the Shuka Berry. We can eat up uh, Precipice Blades easily, no problem. Or I can wide guard it and just try to get off a shot with my Thunderous because he is going to be sitting in the back end. And ground moves cannot hit him. We'll see who he goes with. We're going to go with the ground on. I think so. Yeah, ground on the Venusaur does get the lead. Um, that's totally fine. Oh, mm. mm, how should I play this one? I think I'm going to Dynamax. I might protect my Sakataka, Dynamax, my, uh, my Thunderous. Just wide guard here? We could totally just wide guard. Not a bad play. Now he's going to put me to sleep. So I am going to actually set up a Trick Room. And I am going to protect my boy right here. Could fly. Actually, yo, I could fly dip out. No, he's going to outspeed me. But I'm going to try to set up this Trick Room. That, uh, that Venusaur is way too fast right now. Venusaur is way too fast, so I think the Sleep Powder is going to come across on my Thunderous, and he's going to go for... Yep. Yep. Just as I saw that. Just as I saw that. And the Precipice Blade is going to come out. Shuka Berry is going to be able to eat up. Okay, good call by me. Good call by... Oh, we, we dodge. We avoid. Let's get it. Trick Room's out and about. I got to Dynamax my boy right here. I have to Dynamax to take you out. Get him out, my, get him out of here. Okay, um... Slower to user compared to the target. The great... Now, does this... Just throw off. Since we're in Trick Room, we're faster. I'm a little confused. I'm still going to go for it over onto you. 
And I am going to Dynamax you. And I do not mind. Actually, I could just go straight for a fly. No, because then he can read the protect, right? He could re read the protect. So, um, I am just going to airstream. I am just going to airstream here. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to Dynamax. Yeah, I was going to fly and not waste my Dynamax here. But I was like, if I fly, then he can do an easy swap or just protect the next turn. I basically waste a turn. That's the only bad thing about fly. Uh, the, legit the only bad thing about fly is that is that he can read easily say I want to go into it without Dynamax and he would just protect the next turn and been thriving here here's a gyro ball Let's see how much damage we can do on this thing decent amount of damage precipice blades come out sugar berry's gonna come out which is wonderful and I wonder what Venusaur is gonna go for but what's it called is gonna be uh it's gonna be slower my thunders and if I get rid of this Venusaur right here, we should be thriving. There's no way this thing's sash should just go down. It's sashed? What you mean? Bro, now he's gonna put me to sleep. I hate this game. Should have put it up the electric terrain. Dude, this thing's sashed? Oh man. Hopefully it messes. Let me do a little beep boop. Nope. Nope. Bro, dude. Why is this thing sashed? Venus was usually never sashed. Except for the time when I don't need it to be sashed. All right, we're going to take Venusaur out with a body press. Get him out of here. And I guess we'll go for a uh, darkness. I mean, I guess we'll do it. We'll go for an airstream. I guess I'll go for an airstream. But it's just like, dude, come on. Are you really sashed? Dire Ball's going to come out of here. Clean up this Venusaur. Let me get out of my face. And Precipice Blade's going to take us out. Okay. I can see him bringing out a Torkoal. There goes my Beast Boost, which is nice. So hopefully he misses. This could be a big miss. Doesn't affect me and disconnect. Okay, so stack attack is gone. Ooh, come on, man. Come on, man. Wake up. I don't think you can do a one turn wake up. You have to be at least asleep, right? Yeah. Thunders slumped. Slumped, man. Definitely gotta bring out the torques, man. Definitely gotta bring out the torques. He's gonna be super, super slow. And is he bringing out this? No, he doesn't even have a torque. My torque is gonna be thriving for the rest of these turns. Then we get out Xerneas, which is pretty fast. Charizard's gonna get popping. Probably gonna be his Dynamax Mon. Do a body press. I do a burning jealousy, which is nice. Hmm. So these all post Pokemon that had their stats boosted during the turn. The burn. I think I'm just gonna erupt. Yeah, erupt's gonna be the play, man. Erupt's gonna be the play. Then I'm gonna try to lightning onto you. I can. I can. That's tough, man. He's gonna Dynamax his Charizard. Actually, he might not. I mean, if I was him, I would. So we'll see what happens. The Groudon's gonna go down this eruption. Brooklyn's gonna go first. But we'll just see what happens. Maybe the ground on protects. He's definitely Dynamax Charizard, right? Yep. Charizard, get big, baby. And I can see it just one tap in my uh my what's it called? My thunders. And Charizard should be slower than my thunder, so it's gonna be hitting first. He's got this on, it's gonna go for a wildfire. It's got solar power, it's probably life orb. This crazy amounts of boost here. The is gonna go first, see a ground on. Doing decent amount of damage to that Charizard. Decent amount of damage on Charizard. We got crit on somebody. I think it was the Charizard. So that's good. Good news. And here goes the wildfire. Yo, eat this up. This is a tasty snack for you, Thunder. Tasty snack for you. Wake up. Yo, wake up right now. I need you up. Game, games. Donkey poop, man. <laughs> Dang it, man. Thunders goes down. Doesn't wake up. Can't believe that thing was sashed. Okay, um, is Charizard faster than my Zerg? That's, that's my one problem. I'm going to be able to get off another big old eruption on whatever Pokemon he throws out. This is going to be a good battle. I can protect my Xerneas, which I think I might do. Because how many turns is left in the trick room? Charizard's 166. This thing can fake out. Ooh. Ooh. Don't like that one bit. This thing can fake out. I think I, I, I got to go with the, with the eruption again. Into the gleam? You give me no choice. He's gonna fake one of us out. There's no terrain up, right? I don't think there's a terrain up. Let me make sure. Pretty sure there's no terrain up. Our sunlight trick room and wildfire. Yeah, okay. Hmm. The sunlight adds next turn. I'm gonna go for green. I'm gonna do this. Because I think we both should be slower than Charizard. He's gonna fake out one of my Pokemon. And I do not want to protect my Xerneas if he's gonna fake out my Torkoal. I think either of these shots take out this Charizard. Or not Charizard, the uh, Sableye. Because Sableye can't be Sash. 
kind of weird how he has to say why. Oh, he's going to trick on me. Hey, yo, what are you doing? So he's going to trick on me, and what item are you going to give me? My lagging tail. That's going to work for me just fine. That's totally fine. The eruption's still going to come out of here. It's going to take out the Venusaur. And I think we win this game. Actually, maybe not, because Trick Room ends after a turn. Let's see what he goes for. Oh, Gleam goes first. GG's? Ouch. My heart. My heart. He goes for quick. Oh, dude. Oh, no. He's going to go down. He's going to go down to solar power. He's going to go down to solar power and orb. Get him out of here. Get him out. That's GG's. Right? He was orb. I'm pretty sure he was orb. Solar power might not come out because sunlight ends. Oh, no. Uh-uh. He wasn't orbed. Oh, uh, mm. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, are you kidding me? He outspeeds me now. Should've just shy shot. Come on. Yo, let's go, Zern. Zern, I need you here. Zern, eat it. Eat it, Zern! Love you. Love you. Special defense, bulky. Bulked up. Zern just clutches it up for battle number one. And we get ourselves that win. Up against a very, very strong Charizard and Groudon Sun team. Sakataki came up clutch with that Trick Room. Same thing with Thunder's coming in here, but he went to sleep. We were able to do work on the Venusaur and pick up that win. This guy right here, I don't think he knows that we can use some legendary Pokemon. <laughs> this guy has no restricted mods on his team. He's rocking out with like a Series 7 team. I feel like I used this team before. I don't know why, but it's very, very strong. I'm not going to take it lightly. He has a Toad Kiss, the Incineroar Real Boom combo alongside with Raichu. And the Corvo Knight. Oh, yo, I haven't seen Corvo Knight in forever. Love that Pokemon. And the Milotic. The Milotic is set up and be pretty well here. I think I'm going to go for the Geomancer. here. I think that's a that's a safe play to go into. We can't fake me out from there. And we can roll from there. I'm going to bring Thunderous for that Defiant. And Venusaur? I think Venusaur can come in here and do some work. Then we have the Sludge Bomb for the Togekiss. We can do work up against that Milotic. Uh, don't we have Earth Power as well? I think we're rocking Earth Power. Oh, so, yeah. Let's get him buzzing. Let's get him buzzing here. Actually, Corviknight's kind of scary to me. Corviknight bulks up. We don't really have a lot to take him out. So in that case, I might go in with my boy Torkoal. Nah, yo, we'll be rocking out with the squad. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. I'm not worried about that. Corviknight, get that Corviknight out of my face. We're going to try to set up with our Geomancy with our uh, Exerneus and see if we can sweep this one and get ourselves our second win. That first battle went really, really well for us. We brought in Sakataka. And I, I trick him at the right time. I trick him right off the rip. I was planning on going for a wide guard, but then I was just like, dude, let's just trick him, protect, because I, I read that sleep powder coming across. But then he was sashed. The match would have went so much better if he wasn't sashed. We would have been fine. And you lead Incineroar? Yo, I would have never saw that coming. Him leading Incineroar with a Defiant Thunderous on the field? This guy's ballsy, man. Got some coconuts, man. <laughs> but we're going to set up the second surge. You can't fake me out. Get him out of my face. Um, we're going to GM Anson, no problem here. And I guess we'll go for follow me. It's going to be play. Intimidate, nothing. We'll put a special attack. Get out of my face. Once I set up a Geom that Tokus really isn't going to do much on me. During, we'll have special defense boost all day. The Geom right off the rip. And then just a nice little, nice little finger wave. Say, hey, yo, over here. Get buzzing. Let's see what he goes for. Helping hand is going to pop here. And what are you going for? Darkest Lariat? By the guess. That's totally fine if I go down. I don't mind it. Considering, like I said, Ndidi's are only here to set up a uh, Geomancy. Goodness. We are absorbing the power. I love how this move looks, man. It looks so dope. Power comes out. And Geomancy comes out as well. Oh, set it up, baby. Give me all them stat boosts. Remember when I first uh, used this move? I thought it was like an attack move. I was like, well, why didn't it do anything? <laughs> a special defense, special attack. Oh, and you're, ooh. What was the helping hand for? I'm a little confused by that. We're still plus one, and I'm still going to get after you, because I'm not playing around. We do outspeed you, Incineroar. I mean, he can go for a follow me. I might not need Dynamax, to be honest with you. If you're just going to do that, you can do that, and I'm just going to... I could force, but I think I'd rather gleam, because I don't think force... Yeah, has no effect onto the uh, Incineroar. So, I'd rather just double up on the gleam, because I can see a follow me coming out here. Let's see what he does. If I can take out the Incineroar here, and have some HP left over, then I'll Dynamax my Dernius. But right now, it's just not time, because I don't want him going to follow me, eat up shots, just keep snarling me down and waste my Dynamax turns. But let's see what happens. Helping Hand's going to come out here again. That's totally fine by me. Here's my Gleam. Get him. Get him. Do some damage on him. Another Gleam. Get him. Get after it. Doing some damage. 
Nice little crit on that Togekiss. Another Gleam should be able to take him out. And we should be fine. I think he's just going to Snarl again, which is totally fine. I'm fine with all this. We thrive and Snarl's going to come out here. Yeah. Indeed, he survives, which is wonderful. We both outspeed. Actually, we might not outspeed that Togekiss. We'll see what he does. Special attack is dropping, so we need this double hit to actually take out the instant war. I'm going to go for another Gleam. I might just protect you. Just keep you in for a turn. Nah, we'll Gleam again. Let's get it. Let's get it. I wish I had Helping Hand on this thing. I would I would give the Klapskis right now. I mean, wait. Do we have Helping Hand? We have, no, we have Protect. No, 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 we don't. We have Protect, Follow Me, and then we have the Expanding Force and Dazzling Green. Take out that Incinor. Oh, that's, that's whack. That's whack. We brought it down to that level and we all take it out. Indeedy, outspeed these guys. Outspeed them, Indeedy. Indeedy does. Okay, so Tokus goes down. And Incineroar lives another day, which he's just going to snarl again, I bet. Yeah, okay, okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's totally fine. You can take out my Ndidi. We're going to bring out my Thunderous and Dynamax. Because he can go for a Snarl. If you want to go for another Snarl on me, that's fine. Yeah, I'm going to bring you out, Dynamax, and start sending some Max Air Streams. So, you can go for a Snarl, drop my stats, I'll define proc me. And we'll be rolling from there. Corviknight's gonna pop, and we gotta get after Corviknight all day long. I'm gonna max lightning over onto Corviknight slot. And I'm thinking another Gleam should be able to take him out, right? Let me close. Let's go for lightning over on this thing. Get after him. Let's see what he does. He's gonna swap in Sonora. No doubt that he's. I, I, I meant to say. What I meant to say was, uh, I don't think he's gonna swap the Incineroar. But I would love for him to go for a Snarl here. We have our boy here. Good thing I didn't Dynamax. My, uh... My what's called? My Xerneas. But, I mean, if we did Dynamax, we could have probably taken out that Incineroar there. And been pretty much rolling. And he's going to Dynamax the Corviknight. So, my question here is, uh, what is he going to do? He's probably going to take out my Xerneas with a, uh... With a what's it called? With a Steel Spike. Get the Defense Boost. And he's going to do something with this Incineroar. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know if he's rocking will o -Wisp. It's going to be a good battle. This one's going to be good. Let's see what he does. That's going to pop. Can we take out Incineroar here? I don't think we can. I knew it was going to be close. Keeps dropping my special attack, man. Keeps doing me dirty. Here goes Lightning. We're going to switch up terrain here. And we're going to do a decent amount of damage. Wonderful. This isn't policy. I doubt it. You never see big old policy person. Or policy Corviknight. Make a move. He it? Yo, dude, what is up with this game today? Every time, like, oh, no, he's not Focus Ash. He's not Policy. They have that exact item that I cannot deal with. <laughs> he goes for the Steel Spike. And Steel Spike is going to be able to take out my Xerneas because it's Policy Proc. And I wonder what he's going to go for here. That's my question. Is Venusaur going to come out here? Bean Bean is going to come out here. We are Sash with the Venusaur, which is great. And a Flare going to pop. He's going to go down to That's actually big for us. He's going to go down on that damage. I outspeed. I can take out the Corviknight whenever I want. We could guard. We still have the Venusaur here chilling. We cannot put Pokemon to sleep. I got to remember that. Considering the, uh, the terrain out here. So, big brain plays from Jeans. Venusaur comes out and Milo takes his final mind. Sorry. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to go here. We're just going to drop a nice big energy ball. And I am going to send a Max Lightning down. Right? You give me no reason not to, right? He has no speed boost. Thunder's out speed. Thunder's going to be, be able to take out Corb Knight. This match is in the bag. This match is in the bag, baby. Yes, sir. Going to go 2-0 here. I promise you guys we're going to win this one. If we lose this one, channel's canceled. So I'm, I'm going to give it to a lucky viewer. Just put it in a randomizer. Hand it over to like, Happy birthday. <laughs> just, just hand it over to you. Take my channel. Energy Ball's going to pop out. Do a decent amount of damage, but not pick up the KO. But we still have one more uh, turn in our Dynamax, which we should be able to be able to drop a max like me and pick up a W. But this dude's probably just going to quit the match anyway. We got two super effective mods coming out of him. And we have one Dynamax turn left. Light work. Light work for the genes. Online gamer community, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't used that line in a little bit. Hope you guys did enjoy that one. But, oh, yo, I was about to hit run. Should I run and tie the match up? Because he's definitely going to run. So let's just do that. Drop an airstream. Not an airstream, a uh, lightning and an energy ball. He's definitely canceling, right? Yeah, get him out of here. Get him out of my face. Not worthy to face me. Not worthy. We can opt to our third and final battle. Look for a perfect record for today's video. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Going up against another Sun team right here. And this guy has 
excuse my pronunciation here, an Eternatus team? Not sure if that's how you pronounce it. I'm sure you guys are going to be roasting in the comment section down below being like, Gene Joe, you stupid. This is how you do it. But we got 30 seconds to pick. I could set up another Geomance and roll from there. He does have Intimidate on this Pokemon. Definitely want to bring my Sun Squad as well. Well, this one's like a tough, uh, tough little, tough little thing I want to bring. I think we're going to go in DD Xerneas. Try to set that up potentially. Go in with Venusaur and then just Thunders. Same squad as last time. We don't have to bring the Torkoal because I feel like he just does it. Which is fine. Which is just dandy. This one's gonna be this one's gonna be real tough. It's gonna be a tough battle here. Hopefully we can pick it up. We dominated in those first two battles, played very, very well. We're sitting in this third one. This one's kind of just like a joy ride, because we already, we got the winning record in the bag. Even if we lose, we go two and one. But still perfect records are where it's at, and I would love to get it for you guys. But this seems awesome. This team is actually really, really strong. I'm glad I recorded with it today. And let me know in the comment section down below what other Pokemon you guys would like to see me play with next or replay next. I'd love to know. I'm thinking of doing a Rayquaza team. Maybe get Zygarde back in the action. But he is going to lead that Torkoal and he's going to get buzzing with him. So I'm going to get a... Mm. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to protect my Xerneas. This one's going to be tough. This is tough because if I follow me, he's just going to erupt. I have to protect Xerneas. Maybe not even Dynamax in this turn. Drop it. Expanding Force. Protect. That's gotta be the play. That has gotta be the play. I should have maybe Max Guardi here instead of protecting, but I really didn't want to Dynamax without Geomance set up. Oh, and, oh, okay. I think you're going for double, two double hitting moves. Heat Wave's gonna come through. Oh, you're gonna, he's gonna double Heat Wave, right? And. Uh, what's called should be able to eat this up? And, never mind. Never mind. I was just saying, indeed, should be able to eat this one up. But dang, dude, that's rough. Burning jealousy coming out here. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. <laughs> Solar power is coming out here. Um, yeah, you gotta bring out my boy. Uh, does Thunder's outspeed a Charizard? A good question. I think it does. We're gonna have to get out of here. Dynamax him. We're gonna have to roll. We're gonna have to get rolling. <laughs> this one's gonna be so tough. All right, Thunders. Do your job, buddy. Let's start taking speed. Actually, I think we just lighting in case he Dynamaxes. It's going to be so tough. Do I side shock? Do I gleam? We have to side shock here. Oh, this one's really tough for us. This is a tough one. He, he picked the perfect lead. He picked the perfect lead. Not even going to lie. Set up that drought, set up the heat waves, roll from there. I couldn't follow me, I couldn't Geoman set up. He just kind of like had me in a perfect position. Took out my Ndidi easily, no problem. I thought maybe my Ndidi should have been able to eat that up, but dude, Charizard overpowers a lot of Pokemon. It's really, really strong. Really, really strong. Definitely one of the strongest Pokemon in the game. But if I would have ate that up, I would have been, I think, sitting decently well. Let's see. Oh, he's going to Dynamax and we do outspeed. I do not see a guard coming out from him. Thinking he, I think he thinks. That he was gonna outspeed us. Well, let's see. See what happens, man. Because we'll take out this Charizard no problem. One shot with this uh, Max Line. Don't have to get out of my face. We'll drop it. We'll switch that terrain up as well. Here's a lightning. This should this should be able to KO. If it does a KO. I'm getting off. Get him out. <laughs> get him out my face. That's how we do it. We point at Charizard. We're like, hey, Charizard. Out of here. Get him out. Get him out of here. Just do a little. It's like a. It's like an inch and a half. A little, little finger. Finger nod. Yo, kick him out of here. Get out of here, kid. Get him out. I'm so worried about the circle. Everyone knows this thing's an absolute beast. Side Shock's gonna do a little bit of damage to it. More than a dozen beam would have done. Get him. Yeah! <laughs> Burning Jealousy's gonna pop here. So if we did go into an airship, we would have gotten a free burn on our us. So, that's good. That's good for us. Um, do I try to set up a gym? So I might just protect him. I protect. Hmm. Who's he gonna throw out? Venusaur? Big dog. <laughs> he throws out big dog. I'm definitely going for a gleam here. Which I think maybe we should outspeed. I don't really know that thing's speed. I'm definitely going to for you. I do not want to boost my stats considering. Oh, Psy Shock? Super. Wait, what, what typing? I thought this thing's dragon. What typing are you? Poison and dragon. That is why. Okay, yo, Psy Shock coming at you. Psy Shock is coming at you. But yeah, I do not want to go into an airstream because I would boost my stats. He gets a free burn off on me. 
Dynamax can't. Oh no, seeing how speeds he's gonna take me out. Yo, <laughs> this thing's a beast. <laughs> Chill on me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this thing just dumped on me. Wow. This thing's an absolute unit. Side shot comes out. We do have the Venusaur, which is nice. Doing a decent amount of damage onto him. Then the Burning Jealousy is gonna come out here again. Kinda scared of that thing. Should be able to eat that again. Jeez, man, leave me alone. Leave me alone, Venusaur, it's all up to you. We have the Earth Power for that Torkoal. That thing is a beast. Uh, I, can, I have to take out the Torkoal. I have to get after that Torkoal, right? If I just start throwing people, I cannot put people to sleep though. Oh man, this is rough news. I think I have to gleam here. Oh, this one's so tough. Now we have the side shock over onto you. These are gonna be fast on the field. We are Sash. The thing is, we have to. I really need this Torkoal dead here, just EP. Yo, EP, come up clutch. Not stab, but still. Should we should have went after that with like a side shock? Dynamax can't think I'm gonna do the things an absolute unit. <laughs> Uh, Venusaur is going to go down. No, Venusaur is going to be dead after this burn jealousy. Oh my lord. I got to get my hands on this Pokemon. Me need Torkoal to miss. Side shot coming out here. And he should have took out the Torkoal. That would have been the play. Put both these guys on red. Torkoal is going to pick up double KO easily. That's GG's. That is GG's. Yo, I got to get my hands on that Pokemon. <laughs> that thing just whapped on me. Dynamax Cannon, I believe it's like base like 150 maybe? Or 120. It still does absolute work. And it might be double damage to a Dynamax Pokemon. Really, really strong battle here. We go 2 and 1 for today's video. Really dope Pixernius team that we got the show off today. I'm glad we went 2 and 1 with it. Got that winning record for you guys and got to show off this team to its fullest potential. We got to show off the Thunderous, the Indeedee Exernius combo, the Stockataki and Trick Room, and the Torkoal and the Venusaur Sun combo. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.